Hello creative souls, welcome to this sanctuary where you can transform your dance and soul and speak your authentic voice and of course manifest all your dreams and do what the fuck you want. If you are new here, I am Chandini, I am a mindset dance coach and I help you to build your dance empire on your terms and also to have the best manifesting mindset to get all your dreams to become true and be so much successful. Today we are talking about burnout who among you never feel that burnout in dance i mean like me for example it's like at the time i was teaching you know there is always some uh holidays and vacation time where the teaching will stop and will take back after one or two weeks for example for seasonal christmas or seasonal vacation okay and most of the time or after the, sh the after the show of the of the year at the end of the of the school session you know i will just find myself in total burnout i mean like not being depressed or whatever but that also can happen but feel totally you know exhausted i will start to have physical injuries i will just just i will always remember that after the big year school show i will just be down totally down i could not even move i was totally empty and that is something that's really a burnout and i mean like a lot of dancers i see are experiencing that whether you are doing some competition you are running a dance school or you are in your main performing season where every weekend you are traveling you are going there and there you are being so much show and at the end you are just so fucking exhausted so again it's not i'm not talking about just being tired you know i'm talking about the real burnout the real exhaustion what start to give you injury you are starting to be in a negative loop you are starting to to feel like oh i don't know how i'm going to do tomorrow or i just want to stop i can't take it anymore or you know this kind of state and that's really your warning for you to tell yourself that okay there is a problem I'm clearly not aligned right now, otherwise I would not feel that burnout. Again, I don't just speak about a normal tiredness, I just really speak about that... I would say depression, maybe people fall in depression, but I did not, but just feeling like... Total exhaustion. Like, pff, you're just down. And you know, it will really be like an emotional breakdown. You will start to be very irritable, very sensitive. You will maybe start crying all the time or see everything in a negative picture. It will really take you emotionally, physically, in, in all your entire aspect. You are just so fucking drained. This is a real breakdown. So here is my advice for you. And this is what I did to avoid this, is to find your alignment. So my alignment it's first you have to define your terms again and again i will i think in all the video you will just hear me saying like your dance empire your dance business whatever the fuck you do in your dance <laughs> even in your creation should be in your own terms because at the moment things are not happening like like you're defining like in your limit if you are not putting your boundaries that's where things can get bad very fast trust me i was there and I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. So always define your own terms. At one moment, if you know at that time you need a vacation, if at that time you need just one week break, or if you need this and that, you just fucking do it. You do it because yourself matter more. We are, again, I'm just saying like, a dance career is just so wonderful, just so amazing. It's our artistic passion. We are living from our passion. It's not to end up like anyone working inside an office and just to have a breakdown because the boss is shitty, the colleagues are shitty, there is too much workload and you just feel lost and you just lost the enjoyment. God, we are artists. We cannot end up in that state. It's nonsense for me. So, your own terms, always, always, always. You have always to redefine your condition if you feel they are not respected, if you feel it's not what you want. Like, for example, if, I don't know, you are called for a show or to perform and it's at the moment where you really need your vacation or you really need time to focus on yourself, you don't just have to accept it just to be like, oh, I want to be nice, I don't want to say no. No, if you need your time, you just need your time. That's how it is. They will always call you anyway, so you don't have to be worried about that. So, and mostly also you have to change your mindset. I mean, like, 
most of most of the burnout comes because we are lacking a strong mindset we just we are out of our power our power is taking it's taking to someone else we are giving our power to anyone else but no it's our reality it's our manifesting that so it's our power and if you don't have that proper mindset that remind you you are the one in charge you are the one in power and your thoughts can change each and everything in your reality that's where we are suffocating because if you are in that what I call the victim mentality, not to mean like at the moment of things happen to you and you feel powerless and you feel you cannot change anything about that. This is what I call being a victim. You are a victim of your, of your own reality. That's what I mean. So when you are in that state, you cannot just, you cannot do anything. So you are powerless. And with the quantum mindset, it's just to understand and remind yourself that if there is something you don't like, if that there is something you want to happen in that way or in this way, you can do it by focusing on it, having positive thoughts, always doing the best case scenario and always reminding yourself you can do it. It's easy. Everything is working out in your favor and you will stop to worry. You will be stop to be stressed because most of the burnout is coming from there. It's coming for overstressing, overthinking. I am the perfect example of overthinking. And I got rid of that by learning how now how to overthink, but for positive stuff. And I see just my reality unfolding like I want. And people from outside always think like, how are you so much lucky? Everything is always working out for you. Yeah, because I decided to think that myself. And because I decided that the reality has to prove me right. So it brings all the elements to prove me like, Yes, I'm always so freaking lucky. <laughs> so get your proper mindset. Everything is like you want. What you want, you focus on it. If you want to focus, oh my God, I have so much things to do. I have so much things to do. Oh, how I will do that. Oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. You are going to just drown. That's what I did. That's why I'm telling you, don't do that anymore. When, you know, when I had, when I just, when, when I vacate my house and I have to come in a new place uh, where I am old sometimes and where I left my package in my parents' family house, you know. And the thing is like, I just brought up so many boxes. <laughs> and when I had to, you know, start to organize everything and unpack because then I'm traveling a lot. So I needed to know where exactly where is all my stuff, knowing to what I want to bring with me or no when I travel and when I leave to US. So... I could have just been overstressed, not sleeping, not eating, just looking at my box and just thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to do, oh my God, there is so much and I have so less time, how I'm going to do, oh my God, oh my God. You, by the time you complain, the box are not going to move by themselves. Um, so, so I prefer to put myself in looking like all the boxes and thinking like, it's fine, I can do it, it's easy, oh, it's not a big deal, it's just easy, it's not a big deal, and it all goes fucking fast, and, and I didn't feel any struggle, I didn't feel any burden, I didn't feel stress, I was just casually doing, like normal, because it's all about your mindset, but your mindset, again, is not just changing your perspective on life, yeah, but your life also changed. It's not just like you are seeing a shitty weather and thinking like, oh, it's nice, it's sunny. And I, it's just my perspective. I see it like sunny. No, if you keep saying it's sunny, it's going to be fucking sunny. This is where is the difference. So that's where you, you cannot anymore be aligned without having that good mindset. You really have to get that. This is what changed my life, my dance, my everything. So your life experience, your dance experience is going to be smooth, soft, because you will have that powerful mindset. You are taking back all your power in your mind to change all what is in front of you. And I can guarantee you that there is no burnout anymore. I'm right now for my business just working a lot. Even now it's Sunday, I'm still recording video, I'm still crafting some posts and I'm posting all my stories. I'm still working a lot. But I'm working freely because my mindset is fine. And I know if at any moment I need a break or I just need to take my day and I'm not much following my planning, I'm just like, it's all okay. Everything is working out in my favor. It's all fine. I'm good. I'm fine. Everything is wonderful. And then that's it. Life goes and a lot of good things keep happening. I don't have to overstress anything anymore. That's really the game changer. That's really what is going to prevent you from all this burnout. And 
also I will always recommend you to have this good self-care in the sense like don't forget to take time for things that make you happy that make you feel good if sometimes you just feel good by sitting on the bed with a cup of chocolate and watching Netflix just fucking do it do it and don't be don't feel guilt for doing it thinking like oh my god I should be working at that time oh I should be working no just take time for you you will work later and you will be even more efficient so always do what makes you feel good anytime that's really really important it's one of your most priority and the last things I would recommend you to have that perfect alignment that prevent you from the burnout is to have this what I call the cosmic practice this is what I do every day every day I do my affirmation my affirmation is just replacing my all the system belief my all the thoughts by the new one that I want that I want to experience in my life and that I'm experiencing at the moment it can be instantly it can be after one two three days a week a month does not matter I'm going to get it so this one of the comics cosmic practice I also do a lot of meditation you know that it's really helped me to recenter refocus the energy to have control over my emotion that's why i don't loop anymore in hyper anxiety this does not happen anymore even if sometimes i'm not saying you're not going to feel anymore those anxiety but you are just going to switch it off just like that very fast so you just go five minutes ten minutes to meditation is more than enough i'm not telling you to meditate for hours i'm not capable to it's not i'm not capable i don't want to meditate for hours it's not my stuff i like 10 to 15 minutes to just refocus my energy before dancing, before I was doing that, before a show, whatever, I will just refocus myself in meditation. I like to do my visualization before sleep. I like to do my scripting at night. When my day is over, I'm just nicely on the bed with a cozy light and a little candle and I just like to do my scripting. So all this comic practice will help you to ground yourself. To take back your power and remember yourself that your reality is your choice. Your thoughts are your choice. Top to bottom. So once you do that, you will see that your dance will be even more efficient, will be more beautiful. Your performance are going to be more, more cosmic in the sense like you will be so much aligned with energy and all these unwanted thoughts won't be there anymore because they are sabotaging you. They are stopping you from being your best self. So this is everything for today so please remember to take care of yourself and please nurture this quantum mindset nurture only positive thoughts of what you want and you don't give a shit if today it looks like a lie tomorrow it will be your reality so get your mindset on track do your self-care do your practice that make you feel good and you won't experience any more burnout i guarantee you if you want my help for all these things if you want my help to craft your best rooting mindset or to have a good strategy for your dance empire, you can check the description below. There is all my offers and my Instagram, there is all my offers on story every day. You have my website also, or you can always contact me if you have any other question. And please do like, share and subscribe. It helps my channel to grow and I'm very thankful. And thank you very much and have a good day.